So we're in the Fabric Lab at Patagonia. This is where we submit all our materials for testing. Anytime we do something, we have to really take a broad view of the environmental impact. So we're trying to manage the environmental story with the performance story. So when I flip this lever, you can see inside it'll start to swell with water pressure. It's ballooning there, it just popped. Some of the things like the recycled content, recyclable materials, this is all very new right now. And there's not a lot of companies do, pushing the envelope on this. We're fairly unique in that respect. There's been recycled polyester for some time, and that's the soda bottle story. Post-consumer from pop bottles recycled into fiber that can be made into fabric out of polyester. We've been using recycled polyester for a while. I think 1993 we had essential fleece made out of bottles. And so we've been refining that process to the point where we can make really high-tech, waterproof, breathable jackets out of polyester. And nylon has always been, we can't recycle it and we can't get recycled content. Nylon is a newer recycled content story. So this is an example of a recyclable garment. It's made of virgin nylon six, which is recyclable through a chemical recycling process through our partner Torre in Japan. We can return this garment to them and with some minimal processing, turn the fabric back into nylon six to be made into another garment or another nylon six product. This product doesn't cost more than our regular nylon. Currently, there is a premium price for recycled fibers and a lot of that's due to demand. There's a high demand now for recycled fabrics, recycled fibers, which is a good thing, but it is driving the prices up. We have a mechanical recycling path for natural fibers like wool or cotton. And that's the case with this garment. It's the Quilt Again jacket, and it's made of mechanically recycled wool and polyester. And this was Patagonia Capilene on the inside. Strap from the cutting floor. So the outside is reclaimed wool from Italian sweaters, and the inside is a uh, recycled polyester from the same process, and this is from cutting room scraps from our capilene process. Italian sweaters. <laughs> yeah, well the fabric manufacturer is in Italy, and they've been recycling wool for like hundreds of years there. And so, uh, so in this case, um, it wasn't our wool that we used, we used some Italian sweaters. In this case, we used a really old technology in a new way. So what's cool is we get this really interesting aesthetic, you know, because, uh, because they just chopped up these different colors and blended it. So this isn't dyed at all, this is the natural colors of, of the fabrics that were recycled. And people really dig this aesthetic, which we couldn't have gotten any other way. So we did like this cool recycling story, ended up with a really cool aesthetic. This is an example of a newer technology that we're looking at. It's a recycled nylon six filament yarn that's woven into a fabric that, that we uh, may use in board shorts that would replace a virgin nylon program right now with recycled content nylon. This is a case where we're able to replicate in recycled content almost exactly what we were getting in virgin content. So the performance should be the same. We're gonna prove that out in the lab here though. We're constantly pushing the suppliers to provide us with more options and we're looking for new suppliers to provide us with options as well. And we're hoping that this gets big enough that the whole industry can adopt, adopt these types of products. We've got to balance making the best product with including recycled content and making the garment recyclable. So we're not going to sacrifice the performance and the function of the garment just to have a recyclable product. So we are challenging our suppliers to provide us with the same fibers that we use to make the best product in recycled versions that are also recyclable. We're hoping that this gets big enough that the whole industry can adopt these types of products.